Hello, my name is Gary Cusick and I'm Vice President here at MacTech Corporation. And today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a wireless heart adapter, our bullet, to a wireless heart network using FDT DTM technology. What you see here is a image of the web portal for the Pepperell and Fuchs WHAGW gateway. The devices connected currently are an analog only bullet a battery power bullet with a temperature transmitter and a loop powered bullet with another temperature transmitter Anderson Hauser TMT82 and we have a bullet configured as a repeater in a stainless steel housing you can see every one is connected properly and if you want to see the temperature from the TMT82 right here in my office it is just about 70 degrees now what I'm going to do is add an adapter called multi-drop. It'll start with MD. You'll see that's not here. Okay, what you see on the screen here is a Packware frame application and the bullet DTM, which is open in its overview page. On this page, you can see the primary variables of the bullet, the eight devices that are attached to the, to the bullet. You see them paging through and the general status. Uh, basically, it says the bullet has no alerts or errors, but it is searching for an adapter. The reason it's doing that is I have the network ID and join key set to uh, an inappropriate value. But how we configure the bullet is by selecting the Setup Wizard tab. And in this field, we have the bullet tag. It's short and long tag. We can configure the power. The bullet has many power options. For the 8 device multi-trop, I'm using a dedicated power supply, so I've selected direct power, high bandwidth, and we're turning all the devices on, and we are dis disabling any kind of field device cutoff voltage um, that's typically applied when there's a battery. The critical steps for us right here is to get this on the network. My network ID is 7. You can see the bullet was set to 7777, so I'm going to make this a 7. And then my join key is simply 0, 0, 0, and the last digit is 7. Typically for wireless heart application, the join key will be a complex four eight-character hexadecimal words. Then I just have to select join the device to the network. The DTM will write this information to the bullet. Now we select the overview page, and you will see the bullet is now in idle. And it will start to search for the wireless network and as different parameters are met we will see the Christmas tree light up we just switched to searching so now the bullet is actively looking for a wireless heart gateway the one with network ID 7 now we'll see that the bullet has found the wireless network it has synchronized times and the wireless heart signal has been identified the next step it will be requesting network admission now our status is switched to the joining mode. Network admission has been requested. Now we have security clearance. And it goes pretty quickly here. The network has been joined. Now it's requesting its bandwidth to get its time slots when it communicate. And there it is. Now that we have a complete join, our field switched to green here, it shows operational. And our bullet should be connected to the gateway. Go back to the gateway screen here. You will see now that we have an MD bullet eight device multi-drop. It'll take the network a few minutes to form to show all the sub-devices. So I'll come back to that after showing you a quick example of how a DTM can show you an alert of a device. So back at our DTM, our Packware screen, I'm gonna click on the DTM for the Anderson Hauser TMT82. And this device has a, a nice overview page where it gives you a nice indication of instrument health. What I'm going to do just temporarily is I'm going to hold on to the thermocouple and see what status change we get. Now you can see the status has changed and they give you a nice clear indication that the health status is it's out of specification maintenance required. If you can read this fine print, it says the cause is the measured value is out of the adjusted range of the analog output. If you look at my setup screen right here, I have the upper range value set at 90 degrees with me holding the thermocouple, we're up over 91.78, and that shows a quick failure. Um, this, could sh this will show an open thermocouple, a device malfunction, internal temperature out of spec, many diagnostic features. 
which is what makes wireless heart so attractive for condition monitoring, data acquisition, and just having a program to check the health of your instrument 24-7. As I let go of the thermocouple, this will come back range, our current will drop, and the instrument will go back to normal operation. So here it is, the thermocouple's cooling down, we're back in the range below 90 degrees, and the instrument health is okay. So one last check before I leave you is, I will check the gateway. Okay, so here we can see that the multi-drop bullet has joined and all eight devices are now attached and reporting values. The signals here are the PV for each of the devices is the average of my two thermocouples. And thermocouple one is the SV, thermocouple two is the TV, and QV is uh, the electronics temperature. So I think you agree that uh, we very quickly accomplished the task of adding a wireless heart adapter, the MacTech Bullet, to the gateway. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time. And if you have any questions or need more information about the Bullet or our DTM, you can contact me on my email, gqsick at mactechcorp.com. Call me at plus one six zero nine eight zero one zero zero three nine or check out our web at www.mactechcorp.com. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.